everything. It's not Did a we help you guys fix that along the way? How would you do that? Um, when we came last time and we walked, we were able oh, to walk through a lot of places. I, I realized that they put up some signs I'm gonna afterwards. I'm going to tell you what, and if, for everyone watching, it's because of you. It's <laughs> because I'm telling you watching. It is strictly because of that incident that now we have is we have cleared identified. we we have cleared some things up 100 percent correct yeah, I same got, thing there's no shame in that right you, 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 same thing for you us. actually righted a, a wrong an inefficiency 100 percent all right what's up guys welcome back san joaquin valley transparency i have a couple clips from a first amendment audit that we just conducted at the los angeles police academy and this is where the cops train to be lapd and this is at elysium park behind dodger stadium in los angeles california Joining me on this audit was Wrights Crispy all the way down from Florida and the San Joaquin family, San Joaquin Jr., San Joaquin Audits, and Nate Skates 182. These are three of my sons who also do what I do. Make sure you go subscribe to everybody. I'll drop the links in the description and in the pinned comment. This is a follow-up First Amendment audit to an uh, audit that I had done with Jay Surreal Camera, rest in peace, he's no longer with us, East Los Audits, San Joaquin Audits, and Nate Skates 182. And when we went there the first time, we walked around through the whole compound and we entered some doors that they now claim are restricted access. Because of us, they had to put up new signs in certain areas where they don't want the public being allowed to go. And I get it and I understand. For instance, the shooting range. Last time we did the audit, we did walk around inside the shooting range. There was no signs. But since then, they have restricted access there now. You're gonna hear Assistant Manager Tom, we don't call him Sergeant Tom anymore because we're not using these military terms to address these cops. We're not using Chief, we're not using Sergeant, Lieutenant, none of that. These are military terms, so we're trying to find new ways to address these cops. They're not at war with the people, folks, so they shouldn't be addressing themselves like that. I did read a comment that said something like, isn't that stolen valor when they use these kinds of terms? That, in my opinion, was a good comment and something to think about as well. Another thing you're going to hear in this video is how I absolutely destroy the argument regarding the Second Amendment. Assistant Manager Tom here is talking about creating more gun laws, making more restrictions or whatnot, and you're going to see my answers to that. You guys are going to want to subscribe and hit the bell because I will be posting a full video soon. Also, just so you guys know, the Assistant Manager Tom runs a podcast and he wants to do an interview with me. A long time ago, he had asked to do an interview with me and I don't think I was ready, but I think I'm ready now. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that interview with him as well. Definitely watch these clips, they're not long. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like I said, subscribe and hit the bell because we'll be posting a full video soon. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's get right to the video. What's up guys, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. I'm here with the San Joaquin family, San Joaquin Jr., San Joaquin Audits, San Joaquin Cop Watch, AKA Nate's Gates 82. And we're also with Wrights Crispy, who came down from Florida to visit. Thank you for coming down, brother. Sea to Shining Sea, bro. Hell yeah, from Sea to Shining Sea, folks. Yes. Now, you guys invented SWAT right here. That's right. Now, yeah, yeah. In, how do you feel? Did you put a copyright on it? Because everybody's SWAT now. There is no SWAT. Everybody's militarized. It's so interesting you say that. Yeah, I don't know why it's become that way. Yeah. And I don't know if it's a product of the guns in the country, because we've got a gun problem. I mean, we have we have an enormous problem with guns. I'm not saying against Second Amendment, but I mean, just they're everywhere. No, yeah, and you have to be prepared, yes. right? But And you see these shootings, and I don't know, I, is, this, is this the result? Like, are we following? Are you saying that an armed society is not a safe society? Say again. Are you saying that an armed society is not a safe society, would you say? I... I like the idea of being armed, right? Because if you, if you go back, if you go back and back, the whole reason why people in power were able to get there was because of the lack of arms. So I like the idea of an armed society, but I like the idea of like a reasonably I'm going for armed a tissue. society. Again? I'm going for a tissue. Oh, thank you. I, I, trust, I completely trust you. Like it's, but these are good questions though, right? Because right. what does it mean to be armed? Does somebody need an AR-15? Well, fully automatic or that's the question it, it always goes to that questions. i had a friend who asked me what do you want a bazooka next right right well i have a friend who not only had a bazooka but every kind of small arms you can imagine tripod all from world war ii all the way up to now yeah and he had tanks he had a mig 25 he had a no Huey helicopter he had all this stuff in working condition wow and he made a museum out of it he's oh. a retired marine yeah, yeah, yeah and he owned this stuff all legally because yeah. of our second amendment right and Man, when he passed away, I was the president of our Rotary Club, and we tried to save that place, and it cost over $100,000 a month 
to keep everything running. And he would pay that out of his own pocket. He was a multimillionaire. And the mechanics would go and get beer in the tanks at the end of the day yeah, and roll back. Course. And inside, he had an actual submarine periscope that would go through the roof of the warehouse, and you could see the MIG out on the parking lot. And it, I mean, so there's no Incredible. unabridged, it yeah. be unabridged. Unabridged. Yeah. But it's a well-regulated. See, militia. there you go. There, there you go, right? I don't want them just out everywhere, but I would like some kind of regulation, just like I, just like any other facets of our society regulated to a point that allows people to get it but how about we train people to them we make you go take driving tests force training though or is that is it like a force training type of thing well, i thought about that too like just like your concealed weapons permit you have to go to a training class right yeah you have to show competency well, right if, and, and but that that would mean that that would mean that you would need to go register you'd have to go you know, uh, get yeah. some kind of uh, some kind of license saying that you've been uh, you've been trained, and yeah. that that well, makes people more reluctant to right. giving up their name and stuff like that. You see what I'm saying? So, and with with criminals, they don't care about gun laws. Criminals, they don't care. They that's why they're criminals. They're they'll go out. They're, they're gonna, gonna get, get a gun, gun anyway. I yeah, absolutely. 100%. So, so the only ones that are gonna be restricted at, at the end of the day are gonna be uh, law-abiding people, right? The, rules. So the I, ones I who follow the rules. 